Today's Gospel Sunday, June 16, is taken from St. Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 34. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples. He explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faithful Reflection is by Father Tony Lim Chaipo, OAR, Human Helplessness. The message of the first part of the gospel for today is quite explicit. The farmer does not make the seed grow, whether he sleeps or wakes up, whether or not he tends to the plants, no matter what man does, he does not make the seed grow. One does not even need to understand how or why it grows. That thought might be hard for some to accept. For some people who enjoy having the power of control in their hands, for the haughty and arrogant who firmly believe everyone and everything is beneath him, for people who enjoy the feeling of invisibility by having the power to create or discover new things, for people who enjoy the sense of impunity by having the power to do anything they want without consequences. The thing is, no matter how much pride or power or control or invisibility or impunity one has, no man has really created anything in the fullest sense of the term. Even when one discovers things, they were already there to begin with and we only found them. We can arrange them or develop them but create them. We cannot and we did not. Thus is the total helplessness of man revealed. No man has ever possessed the secret of the creation and growth of life. While we have free will to decide and think and feel and act, we do not and can never have the power to create like our Creator. Even so, one just needs to do his part at every stage of the process where he specifically needs to act. When he needs to sow, he should. When he needs to water, he should. When he needs to harvest, he should. The mustard seed presents a good metaphor that aligns with this thought. As long as one does his part, no matter how small or insignificant it might seem, when he needs to, then God's will will prevail. As St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians also said, I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. The gospel then is a summons for patience, for hope, and for preparedness. Patience so as not to be overcome, hope so as not to despair, and preparation for a life in the light of eternity. By the grace of God our Creator, we shall be ready for His coming. Let us pray. Lord, I know that your plans are bigger than my dreams. I trust in your ways, O Lord, and when that time comes, make me ready. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take out for the week. The gospel is a summons for patience, for hope, and for preparedness. 
patience so as not to be overcome, hope so as not to despair, and preparation for a life in the light of eternity.